everyone. There were some people interested in how many inches my hair is. So I have this measuring tape and I'm going to measure my hair and let you all know how long it is. Also, I want to tell you guys about some biotin that I was taking. It wasn't straight biotin, it was a biotin mix. It had like um, riboflavin, calcium, vitamin D. It was just a whole mix of vitamins, but it also had some biotin in it. I believe that the dosage was 3,000 milligrams. I was born myself, but because I'm stubborn, I took the pills anyway. And also, I was using um, a Tazerac prescription cream that I got from my dermatologist. So I thought that using that Tazerac cream, that it would clear me and I wouldn't get any pimples. I was so wrong. I broke out everywhere, on my neck, on my back, on my forehead, on my cheeks, everywhere. So if you see these scars, these scars basically came from me doing a um, face peel. So I did a face peel because I had so many pimples everywhere and I knew that they were going to leave me pimples had I let the pimple heal by itself. So I just decided to do the peel which in turn burned the pimples. So that's why I have these dark spots on my face if you can see it. So I'm basically waiting for my skin to peel off or shed so that I can get rid of these dark spots. But um, I just want to warn you before you take biotin, just beware that I did see results. I did feel like it was growing my hair just a little bit faster than it normally would. But because I only used the age, the supplement biotin, I only used it for two weeks. So there's no way to really tell what job it was doing, if it was doing anything at all. So I don't think that I'm going to try any more growth aids. But if I do, it might be something topical or it may be in the form of a powder or a drink. I don't know. I'm trying to get to waist length by the end of the year. So I'm really anxious now trying to do things that I've never done before, um, things that I don't even believe in, to try to get those last four inches. So in turn, I broke out. And I'm just warning you all that if you decide to take biotin, that beware that um, the breakouts are very real that you get from the pills. So that was basically my warning about the biotin. You do as you please, just as I did, and I paid the consequences. So I'm going to now measure my hair like I said I would. So this is the one inch mark. I'm going to hold it here, I guess. And can you all see that? <laughs> Were you able to see that? Um, so okay. It shows that my hair is 21 inches long, and for me, the hair comes about one inch above my belly button. Actually, no, it's right by my belly button, I guess. Okay. And in the back. So. That's basically my length check, and again, be careful with biotin, be careful with any supplements that claim to grow your hair. I don't believe in them myself, as I said, but um, if you do try them, which I guess there's no harm in trying them, as long as you're aware of the risks and you're willing to accept those risks. So be careful when you take things. Uh, check to see if shedding is a side effect of it. If um, hair loss is a side effect that's commonly experienced, um, breakouts, if those are commonly experienced, and also check for headaches. So if you decide to take something, Google the supplement you're taking and Google headaches along with it or hair loss along with it. Because sometimes when we take supplements, we only Google the positive. So we'll say biotin hair growth. And you'll get so much information and uh, so much on how good it is and how it has helped people. But at the same time, 
you're only looking for good things because you want to use it. So try looking for the negatives as well. So type in something like biotin and breakouts. And you'll see people like me probably telling you the same thing. So be careful with what you take. And thank you for watching. Take care.